All right, I'm recording live down here. All right, we are at the Minerva Park Council meeting October 27th, 2022 at 7 p.m. And we will start with roll call. Councilperson Cox. Present. Councilperson Tresla. Present. Uh, Councilperson Camera is excused. Council President Wolf. Here. Councilperson Brueger. Here. And Councilperson McNamara. Present. All right, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and next we have meeting minutes. We have meeting minutes from October 13th. Council meeting minutes. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Let's get the seconds. Okay. Any what? Abstentions? Any abstentions? Sorry. I'm not hearing that. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys won't have for that one. Okay. Meeting minutes. Oct or, I'm sorry. Work session minutes. October 20th. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? No. Okay. Citizen comments. Now would be the opportunity for any residents in attendance to address council. Should you choose to, come up to the podium, give us your name, address, and uh, you will have five minutes to speak your piece. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Nobody, that's just See, Seeing no one, we will move on to the legislative portion like of our meeting. <laughs> Okay, there's actually no one here. <laughs> 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 we have two residents like here, and they that's are true. both that's eligible to give us. They the are. That's comments. true. We that have two residents. True. Okay. Okay, legislators. Okay. Um, before uh, we start into legislation, since the first one's the one I want to address here, um, I am going to make a motion to amend the. Agenda for Ordinance 29 uh, to have it be written up as uh, an intent to waive the second and third readings and pass tonight. Can I have a second? Second. Uh, we talked about this already, everyone. Anyone have any more things to say? So we just, this is a police vote. Yep. To so all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, moving on then. Ordinance 29 2022, an ordinance to make supplemental appropriations for the current expenses of the village of Minerva Park for the year 2022. Um, just a little background on this. This is not actually new monetary appropriation. Uh, this is mostly taking money that was appropriated for other things and moving it to other services. Uh, in particular, um, the lion's share goes to salaries, uh, things like the police, uh, finishing out some of the pool st salaries, uh, the fiscal salaries, uh, just moving that money around. And um, I am going to make the official motion to waive the second and third readings. Second. Moved and seconded. I do believe we need a roll call on that one, though. All right. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. Councilperson Brueger? Aye. Councilperson Koss? Aye. Councilperson Tresta? Aye. Council President Wolf? Aye. All right. Uh, we have waived the second and third reading. Having done that, I'm going to move for passage without further ado. Second. Moved and seconded. All right. Council President Wolf? Aye. Councilperson Tresla? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. Councilperson Brueger? Aye. Councilperson Koss? Aye. All right, moved and passed. All right, moving on. Ordinance 20, or sorry, resolution, not ordinance. Misspoke there. 2022 30, a resolution affirming the appointment of Michael Fout as a sergeant for the village of Minerva Park, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. Uh, for anyone keeping track at home who hasn't seen us do this before, um, 
and we are looking to waive readings for this as well. There is rationale behind that. We waive the readings, otherwise we have to start reading before our officers finish their probation and we pass it as an emergency because once they're off probation, they should be off probation and not have an extra month of nebulous, you're off probation, but you're not really full time. It's just ugly. So I am going to start by making a motion to waive the readings, the second and third reading. Second. second. Oh, David got it. Dave got it. Council person cost wasn't even the running because she hadn't picked up her microphone yet. <laughs> um, being moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Oh no, we're 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 waiving readings. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Madam Mayor. Council Person Berger. Aye. Council Person Shrestha? Aye. Council President Wolf? Aye. Council Person Koss? Aye. Council Person McNamara? Aye. All right. Having waived the second and third reading, I move to uh, pass this as an emergency unless Council Person McNamara has any questions. That has already been discussed. He's currently a current employee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I'm at the passage. You have to ask your question. Is no, I've, that's already been discussed. Oh. I can't hear you. Good. Okay. Okay. We're not. We're not going to check on Chief. That's fine. Um, I don't see him raising any objection either way. We've teased him enough. Yes. Um, there you go. I move passage. I think we're ready for, and it's been seconded by Council President Wolf. Looking for that roll call. Council Person McNamara. What else? Council Person, <laughs> <laughs> person calls. Aye. Council President Wolf. Aye. Councilperson Tresta? Aye. Councilperson Bruger? Aye. All right. There ends legislation. Uh, stay tuned, folks watching at home. Uh, the next meeting or so, we're going to start rolling out our legislation on the budget. <laughs> and with that teaser to keep them wanting more, back to you, Madam Mayor. What is wrong with everyone's <laughs> Okay. It is All the right. microphone. It is like the morning news. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> we have to leave this at home next time. Okay, let's move to old business. This should not be this much fun. No. It should what? Not. There's nothing wrong with having fun. I know. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I love it. Okay, old business. Does anybody have any old business? I have to ask a question about the shelter. Yes. Okay, so I had a couple people ask me, when we are talking about the shelter itself, is a bathroom going to be? At this point in time, the answer is no. That has not been discussed at, well, it's been discussed. It has not been in any of the pricing that I have um, researched. And the reason for that is, is when we brought it back to council, um, council person Bruger was a big no on the bathrooms. Um, he actually, that was one of his main questions when he asked him, I was talking out of line on that. Um, he thought it would be a little bit of um, difficulty for our maintenance. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe some shadiness going on in there. So it was that we had, even with in planning and zoning, there was never, a, never an actual thought that we would put a bathroom. Okay. Okay. The, the only thing I can remember is at one part, at one point, there was thoughts of maybe, or at least discussions of a, a, a high level, but still obvious porta potty, porta potty, like the ones you get down at the fair that have the, the two sides. Because, you know, whereas an actual bathroom with running water and doors and everything is a great place to go and do things you shouldn't and be out of sight, okay. no one's doing that in a plastic porta pot with an open uh, toilet there. Don't, don't or at least, to or at least they're far less likely to. <laughs> um, and if they're going to do that there, they'll find some place. But as far as the structure goes, it is um, four to six posts. I'm going to go six, two in the back, two in the front, and two in the middle. It's got a roof on it, and it's got a floor. That is about as good as it gets. That's all we were looking for is a straight shelter house. Um, it did. How many tables? Um, we would have talked about six to eight. You could fit six, yeah, for sure. Six eight, to eight tables. Eight on the, on the particular slab. 20, to four, 20 foot by 40 foot is what we have gotten prices yep. for in several. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say I got some for 20 by 30, but the price difference was so minimal. I want to say, again, I have this all um, five to six thousand. It was not enough to make it. Um, we, we thought it would bring it down quite a bit with bid level, you know, bidding levels and all that kind of stuff, but it really did not bring it down enough. So, 
can we put a couple like fans in there too, just to? Yes. All right. You can do. We can do like ceiling fans. Yeah, just like because a one of the things out is there would be electricity to it. Yeah. Um, so we could put fans in later if we wanted or not. I mean, because we have a roof, we have electricity, hanging a fans. Yeah, nothing. I think that'd be. But Those are all up for, at this fancy. point, it's more about, you know, just the, get the shelter the, up. The, yeah. The yeah. Shelter and get the base what? thing up, and then if we want to, you know, then we can talk about the types of picnic tables we want in it and whatnot. Correct. Yes, Peter. So, yes, it is it's set no to be a basic. Um, the the one we'll structure does actually have a back wall because they said something about, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speak right on this, but they, they actually said it was more sturdy if you have the back wall of it. But it's just like a back wall, and then it's got the posts. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a diagram. One, one um, wall is in front. Yeah, it's like a yeah, exactly. So yes, 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 and yes. Um, but at this time, no. Um, installing bathrooms is not in the design that I'm looking at now. Later on down the road, if the council decided they wanted to add bathrooms or something, that would be on that. But that is not being discussed at this time. Yeah. Yeah, where it is, it's not far from the streets. It'd be pretty easy to tie into existing lines if that was a yeah. if that was a thought. Well, pretty easy involving backhoes and, and turning things off. And it's not included not in any pricing that I have actually reached out to get or myself or Bart. We, if, yeah. if it ever becomes, because I, I suspect as your planner, I'll simply tell you, eventually there's a certain age group of children who need to have a restroom. The parents have things that go on there. Eventually you may hear it from residents. That's why it's included in most designs for most parks where there's some accessible restroom. Metro parks are a great example where they have excellent shelters and excellent restrooms built in and they control that just fine and they have their own, own uh, ranger force and they can have reports for you to ever review if you want to mm -hmm. look at that down the road or future council. Um, it's easy to add. Yeah. Well, with money. Yeah. With, yeah. with money and then of course the, the, the last part of that statement that I heard there was their own ranger force to, right. to well, keep an eye on it. Well, yeah, we, we have yeah. our own police force. They we do have our own police, and they could, they, could, they could do drive. Yeah. And they lock it up at night. They yeah. control it. So. There is that. So, um, but do we have any... <laughs> any other old business? Any, anything else on that for old business? No, I just, it was a question that came up. I wanted to ask. Perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you. Any more old business? Okay, now. Um, new business. On here, I'm going to start with this. Um, we were going to discuss um, the Jordan Road sewer project a little bit, funding options for that. We are not going to talk about that tonight. Um, it was brought to our attention from our fiscal officer that there are other potential options, um, meaning pay for it outright. Um, this is something that we had discussed last night at length. Um, so we will be looking at getting this project done much sooner um, with our own funding options. That way we wouldn't have to spend um, Thirty to sixty thousand dollars researching options to get money, um, searching, and applying. searching and applying, and all of that. So it does look like we will be able to move forward to get this project done sooner rather than later. So at this time, we have all this paperwork. We're not going to discuss it here, um, and we will move on. Yeah. Well, the other one you should add in is that it would push the timeline forward by Correct. at least a year. Yes, we would hope that we could get this done in summer of 2023 or fall at the latest of 2023. Instead of being able to start the project at some point in time in July of 2024. So yes, this would be um, this would be beneficial to many, many, many residents. Mm -hmm. um, and just for council to get this project done would be great. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, discussed at very brief um, the Village of Minerva Park Council calendar. We are at this time going to leave this on Thursdays. Um, the first Thursday of the month being our council work session. The second Thursday and the fourth Thursday, with the exception of November and December, um, those would be our council meetings. So we will make sure that that all remains in the um, council council what is it handbook it is the council handbook. so we will make sure that this gets put in there we will start readings on all of that as well um, but we are at this time going to leave thursdays alone um and if we decide to change it we'll do that in january at some point mm -hmm. so right now thursdays um that is all i have for new business actually no i have old business new business please do not rake your leaves into the street and that's all i have to say <laughs> That's and please on. check your leaves for like big oh, okay. sticks. Yes. Big sticks break the big sucker upper that takes the leaves <laughs> and then it can't come and suck up leaves. Yes. 
Anybody else want to talk about lead pickup? Without me retaining the code of enforcement officer, sweeping up every lead is an exactly great piece of art. The small bit for the, you know, caterpillars and cocoons over I will too. promise you they are not all going to get swept up. That is, that is a promise. Rake, rake, rake your yards, leave your mulch beds intact with leaves. The leaves are good anyway. That gives them a place to be. You're, you're, it's just a mulch bed. Who cares? You're throwing fresh mulch on it in the spring. Problem solved. That's what I do in my place. So yeah, that's um, so he is out in the village. He was there Monday and Tuesday last week. He was there Monday, Tuesday, and today he will be out as much as possible. Um, so just get him to the street. He will get him picked up as soon as he is available. Now, if my particular leaves don't get picked up on a certain day, does that mean that he's not here and we should find someone new to hire? Yes, or just make sure you email me. I'm kidding. No, that means he didn't get to my street, Mayor. That, that's what that means. I think he personally just decided to skip your house. Actually, I, I put the memo to skip your house. Yeah. I haven't even started raking yet. I haven't either. I spent uh, the pandemic cutting down trees. Well, I, I'm like the only person on my street that hasn't raked them yet, and I, I I'm noticed. starting to feel guilty. I noticed. See? I was going to send the she officer noticed. to your house. Okay, you, you, you do it. Oh, move to adjourn. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye.